Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 10th of August comes to you from London. And we start by looking at the dollar. Uh, the main uh, governing factor at the moment is the war of words between uh, North Korea and uh, Trump. And we are just seeing um, that having an effect. The dollar is just holding steady uh, in its bullish position strong. Uh, about 94 on the dollar index is a is a resistance level at the moment. So we're not quite just breaking out of that level, but we have activated this upside target of about 2.3% on the dollar. And we're seeing on the euro that the euro is bearish below the cloud in the short term with a downside target of 1.9% activated. So we are just seeing dollar strength creeping in, euro weakness. But the Japanese yen, uh, the dollar is falling. So the yen is stronger still. So it's the safe haven currency and we are seeing the Japanese yen um, strength there. Sterling uh, just holding steady around around the 130 mark but uh, still looking bearish downside act target here against the dollar not yet activated of about 4.4 percent and against the euro sterling is just looking a little bit better um, so at the moment uh, Euro weakness is the theme. We're seeing against the Swiss franc, sterling is still bearish, and against the Australian dollar, it's just also looking a bit bearish here with these downside targets of about two to three percent activated. Looking at uh, the S&P 500 index, uh, we did fall off yesterday. Uh, this turmoil really of uncertainty um, over the Korea situation and looking at the Nasdaq we also saw a bit of a fall off there. We are still holding fairly bullish positions on these charts, the Dow especially, um, but it is just uh, jitters as we might expect and the Russell 2000, the smaller caps are selling off so the breadth of the market is not so good. We're seeing the S&P future down half a percent at the moment and uh, the Nasdaq e-mini down two-thirds of a percent. So we do expect the market to open lower today. Uh, FTSE 250, is, uh, so FTSE 100 is down 1.3%. Uh, so, um, and we're also seeing the FTSE 250 off um, as well. So the FTSE is just really just starting to look a bit more bearish in the short term. Again, the turmoil of the North Korea situation. The DAX has looked very bearish, making new lows and bearish in the medium term. That stronger euro really filtering through. Um, but the DAX is probably one of the worst looking markets now. Nikkei also looking quite bad on that stronger yen hitting Japanese company profits. Hang Seng is holding up just and Shanghai market is also just holding up. So China is still looking fairly bullish and the Indian market is falling away. So we are just seeing short term uh, sell off there as well. Uh, the Aussie market is bullish in the short term, but again, medium term is very directionless. Crude oil up one and a half percent. Again, um, this uh, career situation um, just driving sentiment there. So we are seeing crude looking more bullish and WTI also looking more bullish, breaking out with multiple upside targets. So crude is looking better at the moment. US nat gas and 2.9%. Um, copper holding its position just is quite uh, bullish as well. Of course, where we expect to see the big moves is in gold, and uh, gold was up 1% yesterday, another half percent today, looking bullish, more and more bullish all the time um, on all three charts here. And we will get a thrust target on this column uh, once this column locks. So at the moment, this column isn't completed, but we are just seeing here um, $1,350 potentially, so about 5% upside uh, being priced in off this uh, this rise. Of course, that, tar that column needs to lock, pull back, and then go higher to activate that target. Um, but the, for the moment, um, we are just seeing gold uh, looking pretty strong. Silver also looking very strong, as you might expect. Um, the, sh the long and medium term charts are still quite bearish there, though. And US Treasury yield sitting at 2.23%. Apple um, is still holding its position, looking pretty strong, making new highs. Uh, Google is actually the reverse. It's just um, at the moment in bearish territory short term, as is Amazon. Uh, Facebook holding its strength position here and Microsoft just recovering slightly. But tech will just feel um, the forces of um, this worry at the moment. So we may just see a, a sell off and today's opening suggests that's what will happen. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.